Do you remember or, or are you aware of those adventure games that were so hard that the main character seemed like some sort of an oracle for completing the game? Well, here's an idea for you for free of how to keep the ludicrously convoluted ways to solve a game and still make it seem plausible from the game world's standpoint and maybe even having it solvable for the average gamer if the developer w wants so. Have the main character actually be an oracle, or in general someone who can predict the future? Now, of course, this doesn't necessarily mean the game has to be easy. The player should not be able to d divine how to solve a, solve a p puzzle directly. What I'm uh, thinking about is uh, that the player could predict the future of any object, uh, but they will only see the general area where the object is, and if it's uh, broken or combined with something at some precise time in the game of the developer's choosing. Some objects might give uh, more specific clues about their whereabouts or how they will how they were destroyed, are they burnt or maybe sawdust, or clues about what they should be combined with. These details can be fiddled with, around with by the developer until a suitable difficulty level is found. Another thing that the player might do is predict the future of people, and in my opinion these clues should be even more vague than with normal objects, maybe something like what horoscopes would tell you. I think this game should have even more red herrings than your average adventure game, simply because it's easier to guess which items will not be useful because the player can predict they will not move. However, this isn't necessary necessarily always the case, since the item might not move when it's interacted with, or it should be returned after use, or maybe someone else takes it and uh, goes uh, with it somewhere place else. This type of trickery should be limited to interactions with uh, limited to interactions with objects that are in the general same general area well, to make the game not to not be too hard. Toggleable uh, highlighting for items that can be interacted with and for paths that paths to leave the areas uh, would be important since Pixel hunting isn't exactly fun, at least for me. Also, the amount of clicking uh, sh required should be minimized. For example, the cursor shouldn't change back to walk when uh, an object, uh, object has been interacted with uh, the look cursor. We should learn from the past mistakes of the genre. Here is an example backstory for our main character. There have never been many of us. We are the oracles, the undercover guardians of humanity. Our mission is to make sure that the human race will not destroy itself. However, we cannot use our powers of divina divination out in the open because if these kinds of powers were to get into the wrong hands, perhaps by torturing one of us, the results might be more catastrophic than if we took n more, no action at all. Note, this point could be emphasized by referring to some uh, famous historical figure who is in the game said to have been uh, one of the oracles, but who died precisely because they acted out in the open. We are trained from a very young age by our parents for our mission, but at the very t at the same <sighs> At the same time, we have a very strict moral, moral code to follow. A young oracle has completed their training when they can predict that they will not become happy simply through material means, but by doing good deeds. Because we know our happiness doesn't come through, through material means, we aren't usually very rich. To continue our bloodline, we have to find another partner who has the powers of divination, and this is uh, accomplished traditionally during the 25th year of our lives, when we use our powers of divination, divination to find another oracle as a life partner that we can live a happy life with. 
The year is 1982. I am 21 years old, Finnish American Oracle, since my voice actor happens to be Finnish. And this is the first time I am needed to avert the possible destruction of humanity. Now the camera takes a look at the dream the main character is having. There is a nuclear detonation above Moscow. Some Russian faces are shouting angrily, but there is no sound. And when American faces are shouting back also without any sound. And when the map of Earth is starting to get filled with nuclear blasts, starting from the United States and Russia and spreading from there. The main character now wakes up sweating and panting. Now there should be some kind of a, a ridiculous plot about how, those, how that nuclear blast would go off and a ludicrously complicated way to make sure it doesn't happen. I'll leave those for your imagination.